Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 9th Mathematics, the chapter Real Numbers. Here is the questions and solutions from exercise 1.1. Here is the chapter Real Numbers and exercise 1.1. First question, a bit. Write any three rational numbers. Right, right? Any three rational numbers. First of all, let us recollect what is a rational number. Dear children, can you say what is a rational number? Okay. A rational number is a number in the form of P by Q. Any number in the form of P by Q, where Q is not equal to 0 and PQ are integers, is called a rational number. Now we have to give three examples for rational numbers. Therefore, we may give solution like this. 0, 1, 2 and all these are rational numbers. We know that every natural number is a rational number, every integer, every whole number is a rational number. Therefore, we can give any of the three natural numbers or whole numbers or integers or any number in the form of P by Q also we may give like 1 by 2, 2 by 3 like this. Second bit, B bit. Explain rational number in our own words. We have to write the definition of a rational number or we have to explain what is a rational number. Here the solution is any number in the form of P by Q where P, Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. This is a rational number. Understood? Any number in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0 is called a rational number. Second question. Give an example each to the following. You see, the first bit is a number which is rational but not an integer. A number should be a rational number but it should not be an integer. Integers means, what are integers? Integers may start from minus infinity and so on minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to infinity. These are integers. As we have to give a rational number but not an integer, better to go for fractions 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4 and so on. These will be examples which are rational numbers but are not integers. Second bit, a whole number which is not a natural number. You see, we know that the natural numbers may start from 1. The natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Then what are whole numbers? Whole numbers may start from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on is set of whole numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on is set of natural numbers. Now if we add 0, to the set of natural numbers, you will get whole numbers. Therefore, only one whole number is there which is not a natural number, that is 0. Isn't it? Good. Now look at third bit. An integer which is not a whole number. It should be an integer, but it should not be a whole number. We know that the whole numbers may start from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. 0 plus positive integers are whole numbers. Then if you consider negative integers, every negative integer is not a whole number. Therefore, write any negative integer, it will be answer for to this to third bit. Good. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. These are integers but are not whole numbers. And fourth bit. A number which is a natural number, whole number, integer and rational number. A number which is a natural number, which is a whole number, which is an integer and which is a rational number we have to give. Of course we know that every natural number is a whole number and every natural number is an integer and every natural number is a rational number. Therefore in order to answer this it is better to give natural numbers. We already come across a diagram containing set of numbers you see here this is the diagram containing set of numbers first you can find set of natural numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on set of whole numbers 0 1 2 and so on and this is set of integers minus infinity etc minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and so on 
and this is set of rational numbers v by q form you see this whole numbers circle contains set of natural numbers this integers contains whole numbers and as well as natural numbers and this rational numbers contains these three circles that is if a number is natural number then it is also a whole number and it is also an integer it is also a rational number therefore in order to answer this it is better to give any natural number so that you will get the correct answer so a number which is a natural number which is a whole number which is an integer and which is a rational number are nothing but set of natural numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on and fifth bit a number which is an integer but not a natural number it should be integer but not natural number means it may be zero or it may be minus one negative numbers if we consider any negative number that negative number is not a natural number at all therefore take negative numbers and then of course you can take zero also zero minus one minus two minus three and so on all these are integers but are not natural numbers now look at the next question question number three find five rational numbers between one and two we have to write five rational numbers between one and two of course there is no natural number between one and two and there is no whole number between one and two and there is no integer between one and two but there is a rational number between one and two if we say exactly there are infinite number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers therefore we may write at least five of them you see how to find five rational numbers between one and two are 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 and 1.5 here it didn't ask us to write in the form of p by q but we know that every terminating decimal is a rational number and every non terminating recurring decimal is also a rational number therefore take any five values that lies between 1 and 2 either they are terminating decimals or non terminating recurring decimals then those are the answers for the third question so that here we took 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 and 1.5 but if at all he asks us to find in the form of p by q then simply convert 1.1 into fraction 1.1 is nothing but 11 by 10 and 1.2 is 12 by 10 of course simplify it 1.3 13 by 10 1.4 14 by 10 1.5 15 by 10 like that also we can write this is the simple way to write five rational numbers of course there is another way to find the rational numbers between any two rational numbers if one rational number is a and the second is b then the rational number between a and b is a plus b by 2 that formula also you can use but it is a time taking and difficult to find here it is enough for us now question number four insert three rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 5 insert three rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 5 here we have given the numbers in the form of p by q therefore let us find the rational numbers in the form of p by q even if we write in the decimal form there is no problem at all you see first of all we know that 2 by 3 value is 0 0.666 and so on and 3 by 5 if we divide 3 with 5 we will get 0 0.6 then what are the decimal numbers that lie between 0 0.666 and so on and 0 0.6 so the rational numbers between 2 by 3 and 3 by 5 are 0 0.6 means 60 and 0 0.66 therefore the decimal numbers between 0 0.60 and 0 0.66 are 0 0.61 0 0.62 0 0.63 now let us convert them into p by q form that is 61 by 100 as there are two decimal places we have to divide this with 161 by 100 this is 62 by 100 this is 63 by 100 and you can simplify this first you cannot simplify 61 by 100 it is in the simplest form therefore write 61 by 100 as it is but you can cancel two in both numerator and denominator of the second fraction now you cancel two in both numerator and denominator 2 in 62 31 times and 2 in 100 50 times and again you write 63 by 100 as it is these are the three fractions 
are three rational numbers that lie between 2 by 3 and 3 by 5. Or if you write like this also, it is right 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63 is also correct answer. Now, here is a note. The number between A and B is A plus B by 2. And one can use this formula also. But in this case, it is difficult to use this. Of course, it is not that much difficult, but time consuming. 2 by 3 plus 3 by 5 divided by 2, you have to go for the LCM and you have to simplify it. That's why you use this method. Now question number 5. Represent 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 on number line. We have to represent 8 by 5, one rational number, and minus 8 by 5, another rational number on the number line. Here if you observe, denominator is 5, isn't it? Denominator is 5 and numerator is, one numerator is plus 8 and the second numerator is minus 8. Plus 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 lies at the same distance from 0. 8 by 5 is the positive value, it may lie on the right hand side for 0. Minus 8 by 5 is the negative value, it may lie on the left hand side to number line. Now you see we have to draw a number line first of all. Number line is nothing but a straight line, we know that. Straight line means it is a line which extends up to infinity on either side. Now let us consider some points which are equidistant from each other on this number line. We took the points at an equal distance on the number line. And when we consider the middle point as 0, you see this, let it be 0. Now, we have to find 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5. Therefore, let it be 1 by 5. And this is 2 by 5, this is 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 5 by 5. 6 by 5, 7 by 5, 8 by 5 and this point represents 9 by 5. And on the left hand side for 0, this is minus 1 by 5, minus 2 by 5, minus 3 by 5, minus 4 by 5, minus 5 by 5, minus 6 by 5, minus 7 by 5, minus 8 by 5 and this is minus 9 by 5. Understood? You see, first of all, what we did is, we took a number line. And on the number line, you keep points at equal distances and consider the middle point as 0. And on the right hand side to 0, as 5 is the denominator, indicate each point as 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 5 by 5, 6 by 5, 7 by 5, 8 by 5, 9 by 5. And on the left hand side of 0, Minus 1 by 5, minus 2 by 5, minus 3 by 5, minus 4 by 5, minus 5 by 5, minus 6 by 5, minus 7 by 5, minus 8 by 5, minus 9 by 5. Now, we have to represent 8 by 5. Now, where can you find 8 by 5? Here you can find 8 by 5. Now, minus 8 by 5, you can find minus 8 by 5. Here, this point represents minus 8 by 5 and this point represents plus 8 by 5. Therefore, this value is minus 8 by 5 and this point is plus 8 by 5. Like this we can represent rational numbers on the number line. Is it clear now? Very good.